I am Dr. Nisi Hamilton, and I am a survivor of human trafficking. When I was 15, I had aged out of foster care, and I was homeless. And I remember running into a homegirl who told me, hey, you know, I have a solution for your problem. Um, I work as a waitress at a strip club. You can use my ID to work at another strip club while I work at this strip club. And all you're doing is waitressing. You make money. My boyfriend to keep your baby. And hey, you know, you'll be good. As the boyfriend's keeping my baby, he goes, you can't get your kid back unless you make me $200 a day. He's going to the strip club bragging about how much money he's making off of me. And there's another pimp that's sitting in the club. He sends a message to the girls that he's already pimping out to me that I can make $200 a day faster if I'm no longer a waitress, but a stripper. Because he wants to see what am I willing to give up or what am I willing to sacrifice. That was barrier testing. Let me test your limits. The betrayal comes in. Baby, you ain't been working. It's hard for me to get your hair and your nails done like I used to. I need you to bring in some money. So we're talking about from 15 to 19, I had already been trafficked and sleeping with every bit of about 1,500 men at this point. I made a decision to enlist into the Navy without my pimp knowing about it. And when he found out, I still got beat. And I remember begging the officer, please don't arrest me, please don't arrest me. I said, I'm leaving to the Navy. This is the only chance, this is the only chance I got to get away. I need you to help me. And he looked at me and he said, I believe you. But had I been arrested that night, I wouldn't have survived human trafficking.